So originally we were supposed to get to Salem at 2 o'clock. Now we'll probably get there at 10 p.m. They shut all the power down because there was some problem on the outside of the train. There was a problem with the track and the roads are closed because of the storm. So I think we'll be about five or six hours late. We are eight hours late. It's now 5.30 and we're not going to get there till 10.30. In spite of the unexpected delays, which were actually quite comical, this was a wonderful train trip that was so worth the money. We were in constant wonder and amazement as the train meandered through some of the most scenic parts of the California coastline and the mountainous regions of California and Oregon. I am amazed at how phenomenal all of this food was on this train. We'll show you everything you need to know so you're prepared when you do your trip. Okay, here we go. We're at the Irvine, California Amtrak Transportation Center and we are about to catch the surf liner going all the way to Oregon. It's going to go through the mountains and we should see some snow. We change trains in Los Angeles and we'll bring you the whole train experience. So they have a really nice uh, waiting room here. It's free parking here up to 14 days. So if you do three days, you don't have to do anything. You just park your car in the garage. Up to 14 days, you have to register your car like Thomas is doing. So we're on the Amtrak in Irvine, doing one hour to go catch the Star Liner. That's the one that goes up the coast and the ocean and business class is the very last train if you have business class and it's nice. Um, and you sit anywhere you want. You don't have a sign seat. And then they have the four seats together facing each other or the two seats like we have. Uh, so we'll see. We'll catch you on the next train. And folks, we are now arriving at Anaheim. Please watch your step as you exit. Thank you for riding with us. This is a brief stop, folks. This is Anaheim. So this is business class on the surf liner. So you have a footrest right there. It opens up. That's nice. And then you have a tray. So if you need to do work. Now is the time to come on downstairs and be prepared to exit. This will be a brief stop, folks. Fullerton coming right up. This is Fullerton, folks. Irvine to Los Angeles is uneventful, but interesting nevertheless. There's Los Angeles. Of course, there's graffiti everywhere, but it's been like that all the way up. We are approaching Los Angeles Union Station. If you're bound for Los Angeles Union Station now is the time to gather your belongings. Changing trains in LA was pretty easy. They give you directions and there are signs everywhere. And there's only one Coast Star Line train to find. This is it. So we're heading to business class. This is a big train. It was a little work carrying all this luggage, but we did it. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Coast Star Line, the white ticket. So we just got our seats and we're in the observation car. And you need to ask which way north is and then sit on the left side of the train so you can see the ocean view. But the observation car is wonderful and it's so pretty and you can uh, sit in it I guess forever. I don't think you can ever get kicked out of it. You can check your bags if you want. Otherwise, you're allowed to carry on two large bags, two or more personal items, and we carried on two medium bags as well. So you can store the luggage bags on the bottom when you come in. It's kind of tight quarters. This is the bathrooms. All the bathrooms are on the bottom. Each car has like two or three bathrooms. They have a handicap bathroom, which is a mess. I'm not going there. And they have a... These bathrooms aren't too bad. They're a bit bigger than an airplane bathroom. You got your toilet and sink. And maybe the trash is a little full at the moment. All in all, it's easier than an airplane bathroom. They did clean the bathrooms often. They dumped the trash at the main stops along the way. I did find my favorite bathroom. It was spacious, it was clean all of the time, so I was okay with the bathroom situation. LA to Simi Valley was beautiful with homes and hills, 
and beautiful terrain, but nothing would compare to the landscape and views that were yet to come. It's coffee time, finally. The observation car was amazing. You had to get your spot early, and if you left it, you probably would lose it. We would get up early in the morning and go straight there, and then leave again at dinner. That's what most people did. You can bring any food and drink you want on the train, and the cafe car is right underneath the observation car. Going down so we can see the cafe. I was surprised at how reasonable the prices were at all the restaurants on the train. Oh, this is a little cafe. It's much smaller than I thought it was going to be. A coffee, soft drink, sparkling water from $2.75 to $3.50, wine $14 a bottle, beer and cocktails $7 to $8, sandwiches, cheese and crackers, chips, snacks, hot dogs, burgers, noodles, nuts, $3 to $8. As you see, you can't eat in the cafe car. You can eat in the observation car or at your seats. We continued through farms and croplands as we made our way to each train station. So we're quite comfortable in the observation lounge. We got nice chairs, we have a little table. Where your drinks don't spill if you're driving. Our pretzels and snacks are here. So we've got a nice power plug. So we're both charging our phones. So that's great. Now arriving Oxnard. As we approached Benchura, we got a pretty view of the pier we've seen every time we've driven. Oh, it's called Ventura County Fair Garden Street Gate, so it's the county fair. Ventura to Santa Barbara is mind-blowing. The tracks are right on the ocean most of the ride. They sit on the cliffs. It's unbelievable. We've driven a good portion of this drive, and we've never seen as much of this beautiful ocean as we did on this train ride. That's why I like the Pacific Ocean. Amazing view from the train. Oh my god, that's gonna go down. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right? It's gonna erode. We continued from Santa Barbara to look at the beautiful ocean views. And then this happened. So apparently they stopped the train right here in the middle of the ocean, which is gorgeous. And um, they shut all the power down and they're waiting for the power to come back up because there was some problem on the outside of the train that was not a safety issue. So we're just sitting and enjoying this beautiful view while we wait to continue on to San Luis Obispo which is our next stop in about two hours. Still waiting for them to fix the power. So we're having a snack. Half hour later. We got rolling about 40 minutes later, and then we were notified of another delay. So the captain just said, is it a captain? I think Doctor. it's a captain. Oh my gosh. I'm going to pause what I'm saying because that is a cool, Cemetery, oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, back to me. So we're gonna be going stop and go for the next half hour or so because we're following another train. So definitely when you're taking these trains, it stops and goes and pauses and then we have a technical difficulty and we stop for a half hour. But we're not in a hurry. And we know we'll get to Oregon sometime tomorrow in the afternoon, so we're good with that. But this is the speed we're going for now. <laughs> because we're kind of slow and go while we're 
uh, following the other train and then it stops more than we do. So uh, we'll be stopping behind it as it, I guess, stops and picks up and drops passengers. So that's it. We were surprised at how many coastal views there were. When you drive, you don't get to see this much of the coast. It was really spectacular. And it just got more and more beautiful as the sun was setting. How's it going so far? Oh, it's not like <laughs> enjoying the ride. Look how cute, honey. This is San Luis Obispo. Oh, how cute this little area where the train lands in. Now arriving San Luis Obispo. San Luis Obispo. Pretty. Morro Bay, I believe, is that way. Yes. So we're in San Luis Obispo right now. Just left the main train station. I put a link in the description for the Coast Starlight Route Guide that Amtrak puts out. It's super informative. It tells you everything. My ears are popping because we are climbing so high. The sunset and the mountains are spectacular. Just beautiful. There's the freeway if we were driving this. It's a very pretty sky. We're going to dinner now. All these doors can be pushed with your hand, or you can gently kick them with your foot. Do I go to them? Yeah, yeah. This is so cute. This is it. We've got our little table. We've got our menu. We have the 5.30 seating, so here's the menu. Good evening, folks. We have a 5.30 dinner reservation. Dinner reservation, please make your way to the dining car. Thank you. Thank you. And once you get to the dining car, folks, just step inside the door. Okay, so we just ordered for dinner. We got a complimentary alcoholic beverage. I got a rosé. He got a cabernet. We got rolls, but we're starving, so we ate them very quickly. And then you get for $45 per person, you get um, an entree, an appetizer, and a dessert. And then your soft drinks are complimentary as well. A pear appetizer just came. This is a goat cheese empanada with blueberries. Um, and this is some kind of corn cake thing or corn souffle thing. Oh my god. This brie and blueberry empanada was delicious. And this corn souffle thing was outstanding. So far, the food is awesome. We almost forgot to film because we were so hungry. We got the flat iron steak, which is the signature for the train. And it is absolutely delicious in red wine sauce with mashed potatoes and green beans. Excellent. Food has been excellent here. This is the chocolate toffee mousse, and it's delicious. And this is a blueberry cheesecake. It is also delicious. I am amazed at how phenomenal all of this food was here on this train. These are the business class seats. And as you can see, there's plenty of room, and there's plenty of room for luggage on top, too. It was really quite comfortable to sleep in. So to get in sleep mode, there's this really nice footrest that I could barely reach because I'm so short, but there's plenty of space. My husband is 6'5", and he fit perfectly. And then there's two levers on the right side, and one reclines your seat, 
and then the other one brings up this extension so that your legs can lay straight when you're laying in the actual seat in the reclined position. It was a little hard. My husband had to pull it up for me each time. But then once you get all situated, bring a little pillow with you and a blanket and you're all set. Although it was quite warm on the train, I must say. And then you just push all the levers and put everything back to normal. We woke up to snow and headed straight to the observation car. The train crisscrossed over the Willamette River through the mountain ranges as the train climbed higher and higher. The views were unbelievable unlike any I'd ever seen, and I don't think you could see all of these views if you weren't on the train. It just wouldn't be the same by car. We went through Mount Shasta and past Mount Hood. The clouds made the landscape so mystical, you couldn't even close your eyes for a second. It was just too beautiful. We continued going over the mountain with jaw-dropping views. We literally felt like we were on top of the world. And then this happened. We've got, um, there's hours of service laws at play here, so they're going to make us sit at kind of Falls. We might be sitting there for hours. I'm oh, not sure hours. yet, but I know it's going to at least be a couple hours minimum. Oh. Yep. So we're going to be sitting at Climate Falls. If you want to so we get to explore this little town, Klamath Falls, because there was a problem with the track and the roads are closed because of the storm. So it's going to take five hours for the crews to get through and clear up whatever's wrong with the tracks till we can get the rest of the way to Salem. So I think we'll be about five or six hours late. Well, we're walking in the middle of the road, but it doesn't really matter. We've had three cars come by <laughs> in this big town of Klamath, Oregon. Klamath Falls, Oregon. Pretty clock in Klamath Falls. So we have five hours. Five hours to kill. I think we hit the jackpot with this restaurant. Really cute town. Watch for next week's vlog when I went a little more in depth into Klamath Falls. Okay, so we just got back on the train and for our inconvenience, they said we did the best we could, but we're giving you a little snack pack and a little bottle of water. So the snack pack has little brownie bites. Show it. A little fruit snacks, whatever that is. And a little mini pretzel. So here we go. We're gonna wait until hopefully the train leaves again. Update. We are now leaving officially at 345. Yay! So that unexpected stop turned out to be an awesome little delay, and we got to spend two or three hours walking around a little town we'd never been before, and we had a great meal. So because we're eight hours late, they prepared dinner for everybody in the business class section, and it's a uh, beef stew with rice. It smells amazing. The food's been excellent here. But since we didn't get into our destination at 2 o'clock, obviously we missed dinner and it's now 5.30 and we're not going to get there till about, oh, till 10.30. So anyways, they're really taking care of people here. It's been very well worth the money. Excellent service. Five hours later, we arrived. Okay, we made it to Salem. We're saying goodbye to our train. And here's the station. And it's super duper icy. Oh my God, we're like ice skating on the ground because of this ice storm. How you doing there, honey? <laughs> this is the end of the line for us on the train. Thanks for watching. It was an amazing journey. It was a wonderful train ride. And we will see you guys in the next video. And please subscribe. Oh, bye bye train. <laughs> Bye. That was a really, really nice trip. Let's go. Hey, 
check out our merch store with our logo and cool travel designs. All of our clothes are made with 100% cotton or organic cotton. All colors and sizes. Tees, tanks, hoodies, and more. Along with accessories like mugs, glasses, cell phone cases, and masks. Please support our channel and get some cool merch. Store link in the description.